Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I was just going to jump on here and show you a few things that I got from a yard sale. Um, I did two yard sales. I did one last week and then I did one again today. And from last week, I got this um, Kleenex holder. And it's a Liz Claiborne. And it was like $40 at Belk, it said, to original price. And I got it for $2. So that was an amazing deal. And, you know, even at TJ Maxx and those stores, they're still uh, kind of pricey. So I thought that was an amazing deal. And let's see. At that same yard sale, I got this wreath. I think, well, I guess the price fell off of it. Um, I got this wreath for Christmas, and it was like, I think a dollar or two. I think it was like one or two dollars. I'm not sure. But I'm going to take off some of the things. I might use the pine combs later on. I'm not sure. But I'm going to repurpose it and use it for Christmas. So I thought that was really a good find. All right, so today was my big haul from the, oh, let me grab this other thing. It's so big and kind of heavy. Whew. All right, I don't even know if I can get it all in the frame. <laughs> it's so big. But it is a Christmas tree. There we go. All right. Yeah, there we go. I think we can get it almost all in there. But anyways, I'm going to sit here on the arm of my chair. All right, there we go, the whole thing. But, um... I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, how I'm going to um, style it. I'm not sure what I'm going to put on these. I don't know if I'm going to put like a little votum candle and or get the flameless candles. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I thought it was really, really pretty. And I was going to paint it, but it's kind of rustic looking. So I'm thinking maybe I won't paint it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. So, and then down at the bottom, you can put things in the bottom of it too. So and it was ten dollars and it's really super heavy and durable i don't know if i can get it even down on the ground it's so heavy all right and i got me a stool um i think that was all oh one more thing from the yard sale my neighborhood yard sale um i got a whole bunch of little things i'm not gonna show you everything i got i got a christmas tree for like four dollars it's um, either a six and a half or a seven foot tree. And it was $49, $39, I'm reading on the box, um, at Walmart. So I'm not sure how I'm going to use that, if I'm going to give it away to someone else or what I'm going to do. But um, And this is a soap dispenser I'm going to use for my son's bathroom. And it's brand new, never even been used. I got it for $4. So that was an amazing deal. And I liked that it was plastic because I didn't really want to put glass in his in case it fell. All right. And then I got this stool. I've been looking for a stool the last time. This is from a churchyard sale. Churchyard sales are the greatest um, because people donate really great stuff to churches, to, to their churches. But it does have a design on it. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm not sure which direction it's going. But it's really cute. However, I've been looking for something to put on my fireplace that I could put stuff on. So I'm thinking I might paint it. So I haven't decided for sure 100% whether I'm going to paint it or not, but we'll see. And let's get the big stuff out of the way. This is a picture that I got at the yard sale today, a fall picture. I thought it was really, really pretty. Um, I'm thinking about maybe keeping it as it is, or I might paint it or just dress it, paint it white and just dress it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I thought this was really, really nice. As I was walking out of the yard sale at the church, the lady said, my mom had that same picture when I was growing up. So, and I think this was like $3. So I thought that was amazing. All right, and I got a little basket. It's a little basic basket for a dollar. So 
So, you know, you could never have too many baskets. And I got another basket. This one I thought was a real pretty basket. I'm going to, um, it's kind of got something white on it, so I haven't dusted it or anything yet. But I'm thinking, I got it at the yard sale today, and it's really nice inside too. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do is the top, it is like a Halloween theme or whatever. I really don't like that and don't need that right now. So I think I'm going to paint this solid black. And then um, I had bought a shelf at the yard sale last week. Um, and I think I'm going to put that shelf over my washer and dryer. I've been looking for a shelf and I got one for $3. It was just a piece of wood. Um, up against the wall at the yard sale and I went and looked and it was a shelf and it even had the little brackets to make it a shelf so I think I'm going to put um, that shelf up over my washer and dryer and then I think this is going to be one of the baskets that I use in that area and I'm going to paint this white I think that's really cute all right I got one more basket It's a bigger basket. It's not as big this way. It's not as deep, but I thought that was a pretty basket. You could hang it on the wall. You could, you know, put it on a coffee table. You could just put it anywhere. So, um, you know, sometimes you just see things, you know, and if you really love them, get them because you don't know what you're going to do with them then, but you can always think of something later on how you're going to use that. All right, what else did I get? Oh, <laughs> you need to be watching out for everything because you just never know. Well, you know, people get gifts all the time. And when you get gifts, people don't like the gifts that you give them. And what they do is they give them to the church yard sale. So this was $6, which I looked it up online. I guess this is a common, um, let me see, it's... um. Olivia Grace, I've never heard of the brand, but, oh wow, I think this is, it's like a little metal gold leaf too, that is really pretty, um, and it's got some Oregon oil lotion, and it has one of the head wraps, that's why I got it, I thought, oh wow, I can use that head wrap, oh, you can even feel it here, and it has the loofer sponge, but I thought it was really, really nice, and I thought, hey, I just wanted it for the head wrap. And then you get the Oregon oil as a bonus. That is just fantastic. So, and what else did I get? Oh, I got this. Um, for $4, it's a cupcake stand. I thought that was cute. And you can put cupcakes on it for parties. For gatherings that you have with the holiday season coming up so I thought that was really neat so and I think I'm gonna give this to my oldest daughter because she's always entertaining and stuff so I think I'm gonna give that to her she's always baking so I thought that would be something she might like and I had this too I thought this was kind of cute it's a little crate for two dollars and I saw this let's see the little crate and this was sitting up in it. This is an owl. I thought he was kind of cute. Now my youngest daughter, she'll think that he's kind of scary looking, but <laughs> but I thought it was really cute. And it's like, if you can see it, it's like um, made out of, it looks like bark or something. It's really, really pretty made. So, but, and then you saw on this little perch. So I thought that was really cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to, pair these together like they were they were just some things together or if i'm going to use them separately i'm not really sure yet that's a, that's the great thing when you see stuff you just get things that you love and then later on you can decide how you're going to use them um i got this which i thought was a pretty dish it was five dollars and i thought that would be nice, like if you take a casserole or you take something to someone's house. This is really nice that you can take it in a container. 
that looks nice and white is really always great for like when you're serving and things like that even at home if you have people over and so forth also i got hmm, uh hold on let's see what i got all right and i bought this mesh it's like the black and the orange mesh for 50 cents because you just never know when you might need some mesh right and um, i bought this for my oldest daughter she likes copper things it's a bunt pan the old-fashioned kind i know some of them nowadays some of them are just kind of almost they're rounded at the bottom and kind of squared rounded or something they're, they're just different but i think this one is the pretty one so the, if you're gonna make a bunt cake and she can always hang it on the wall or use it as decoration or put it on your soffit in your kitchen anything you can just do so many things with it as decoration all right now all right and then this was two dollars it's a metal bucket and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I was thinking maybe hmm, putting it up um, for fall in here in the living room somewhere, but I think that's really great deal. And then when you get things like this, when you get things that are metal and things like that, they're going to last for years and years and years and years. So um, it doesn't have a brand name on here, but I thought it was really, really cute. So, I got that. Mm. All right. This is something I got, which I really loved it. This is one of my favorite things I've got. Is, ta-da. Maybe I should turn this away. All right. So, it is an ornament holder. I've seen them for Christmas, but I've never seen one before for fall and somebody has put oh that's a heavy ornament i hadn't even felt it but that's a real heavy ornament but that's a really pretty ornament i think and i'm going to put it on my end table between my love seat and my sofa and i'm going to put it up there for fall and then as the christmas season comes in i'm going to take the fall bulb down and put in a christmas ornament so i thought that was really really pretty and i think i'm not sure how much it was let's see the bulb was two dollars i think and this was two dollars the little stand was two dollars so for four dollars i think that's really really beautiful for four dollars and the bulb i just thought it was just a regular little bulb but it's really really heavy it's really a nice bulb so and what else oh i got these things um I'm going to bring them over here a second. Sorry, but i got to reach them. All right. So, I got these. Let me see if I can hold them back far enough. Maybe not. But anyway, you'll get the, the idea. These are Christmas trees made out of looks like sticks. And then the bottom of it is like this. Which I thought... I think for my living room this year, I want to do um, kind of silver, since I have gray curtains. I want to do like silver, grays, muted colors for my living room. I'll probably do the traditional for the kitchen and dining room. But And these light up. I think this other one over here, let me see. Oh, I think that had some um, tinsel on it. Let's see, now this thing's been turning on all by itself all day. <laughs> God, turn it off, it turns on. Now it's not going to turn on, but <laughs> because I said it turns on. But I promise you, this thing has been on all day long. Every time I came home, I went out and it came home and it was on. I looked around and it was on. But it's not going to come on now. But I think it's because the batteries are not in there properly. Let me see if I can get it to turn on. Hold on a second. All right, y'all. Uh, I'll put some new batteries in. And you can see I can't really get it all in there. There it can. All right, and it lights up. So I think that'll be really, really pretty. But I loved it. Even if it didn't light up, I would have still loved it. So 
um, it's just amazing what you can get at yard sales for every season, for every um, holiday that you want to decorate for. This is, um, these were $7 each, which I thought were really, really a great deal. And they're new because they still have the tag on them. So whoever had them, let's see which way did it go. Doesn't even matter, I guess. But um, so whoever had them must not have used them. So, but I think that's all for the yard sale. Oh no, it's not. Hold on. All right. I had been looking for some uh, apples, um, artificial apples, and I got these bag. This bag for a dollar. And they really look like real apples that would grow on a tree. They're not all perfect. So like it's like the green and the red together. So I thought that was a really good deal. And I got another one. This one was $2. Why well, it was $2 and the other one is bigger and got more in it. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. So I got the apples. So I'm going to use those in decorations. And I think that's it. For right now i did get a thing that um a vase kind of thing that's it's a wicker one that sits on the ground uh for like i think it was 12 dollars and it's out on my front porch so but um i think that's all for right now for this haul but just keep in mind that you can get great things at yard sales at a reasonable price everything doesn't have to come from the store and everything doesn't have to be expensive. So um, just keep that in mind when you're out shopping. Well, guys, I came outside to show you the base that I got, the wicker base. I think it's really, really pretty. And I think it was like $12. And even the things inside came with it for the same price. I thought that was a great deal. So I put that out on my porch. It's really, really windy out here. It's supposed to be getting chillier, I think, tonight, so that's great. I love chilly weather. All right. So, that is my yard sale find. All right, just real quickly, I thought I would show you how I put it on the table. My ornament holder. I think that's really cute. All right, y'all. I decided to put the picture by my TV. By my TV here. And also, I decided to put the apples inside of the little tin bucket. And I think it looks kind of cute. I was undecided whether I wanted to turn it around to show no pumpkins, but I think I kind of like the pumpkins. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.